the importance of blending ideas from various disciplines um, is, is the key here. So we need systems engineering to understand how um, to go beyond understanding sort of having a reductionist view of how individual things work. That's how science has been organized for many, many years that you zoom on your quantity of interest and you zoom and zoom and zoom and you get to genes or you, to atoms and to super strings and whatnot and molecules. But the other view is that, okay, if I understand how individual things work, how much will that tell me about what happens when I connect them together. And we've known for many years that the behavior of things interconnected tightly is very different from the collection of individual behaviors. Now, this has had new meaning with the, we now see that in action with our lives being networked uh, with the internet. Um, and, uh, you know, trying to make sense of how, what, sort of behavior can we expect from the data that we measure on the internet? To me and many other scientists who study technology, there's a mystery here, you know, and the basic mystery is why do people do this? But they are doing it, and I think it's forced everybody to broaden their notion of what constitutes an incentive for an online system. And, and it's in a way that even you know, the people who first got the idea for systems like, like Wikipedia could never have anticipated. Very interesting general phenomenon on the web that plays at the heart of many of the program's themes um, are these sort of peer production systems where people are doing things for payments other than monetary payments and it invites all kinds of conjectures and studies and I think we're just starting to see some of these now.